strategic foresight is what you prepare for and how your opponent takes it on is a very uh, on a takes it on a different level right that's very much the three things that i'm most likely to face i try to visualize it set it up and see how it's going to go you know do some trial rounds uh, play it against a different opponent just see how the struggle shapes up so that you're further along equally you want to look at the things that you dread are going to happen and how do you make the most decent play if that situation occurs there are situations you're going to look forward to a situation you're not going to you should be prepared for both so it's really about anticipating 10 15 possible scenarios getting ready for both and doing trial runs doing visualization and it's all in your head, right? Like you run all these permutation combinations during the game in your head, right? That's how it yes, runs. Very much. Chess, is, yes. chess is very much about picking yes. and choosing from very, very wide uh, range of moves. Okay. So, you know, the number of possibilities grows exponentially with every move. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't have to look at everything. You can mm -hmm. see right away what is hopeless. So you can discard those. You try to prune it down, but you're still left with five or six things that could happen. Um, and then you map out as much as possible. The more work you've done at home, hopefully the less you'll have to do there. Okay. It's like, you know, the more homework you do and the the real life scenario, you know, plays out better for you. That's how you mean, right? Anyway. Very much. Uh, yes. Spare to be wrong, but at the same time, uh, give yourself the best possible shot. Yes. 